opinions can change. Also, the opinion that I had about the 3D printers from ANET. Here on Zachary's 3D Prints, I'm going to review the ANET ET4. Coming up. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review, news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And thanks for being here. A few weeks ago, I saw a opportunity to buy a ANET 3D printer. This is the ANET ET4. I had some op opinions about the brand ANET 3D because of some components from the CTC being from ANET. Also some bad other reports about the brand because of the thermal runaway protection that was turned off and some other issues concerning ANET brand. So I want to be honest to the company and I bought a ANET 3D printer. During the live stream, because I'm also responding to the chats in the live stream, it took me a little bit longer, but basically this 3D printer is quite easy to install. Same kind of thing as an Ender 3 or some other easy to assemble 3D printers. The gantry is separate from the base and you only need four screws to screw it on top of it. Then the carriage, you need to put it on there and then also connecting the PTFE tube and the cables. Make sure that when you are going to assemble it, that you are reading the instructions. Because I thought I connected everything the right way, I only flipped two cables, one for the thermistor and one from the auto bed leveling. And then for the bell tensioning, for the Y axis I need to do, because ANET used some zip ties to make sure that the belt is in tension. And then also tensioning the belt for the Y axis, it's pretty straightforward. You loosen the screws for the stepper motor for the Y axis, you tension it and then you screw the screws back in place. Making sure that the belt is in the right tension, but not too tight or else you get some other things in, in during the print. Also connecting the heat bed, there's one cable with all the wires inside of that cable. So, and then the moment came, I could start printing my first print. Well, in the manual, it says that you have to use a piece of paper and make sure that the bed is level to the hot end. It's not so strange, but after you did it, you will understand why you have to do it. Before you are going to use the ABL or the auto bed leveling system that ANET has for this 3D printer, you need to make sure that the bed is as level as possible. So, and then you need to use something like this. When you start with it, you have to make sure that your nozzle is perpendicular with the heat bed. Well, you attach it and then you have to connect it with the connector that is on the side. I don't know why ANET choose that kind of route, but this thing costs something like five or six US dollars if you buy it on Amazon or AliExpress or Gearbest. But this is also a way or a method to do a auto bed leveling. You connect it and then it's going to uses points to check if everything is level. So a bad mesh bed leveling. You don't have to do anything. You just run the sequence once and it is nice and done. And then during the live stream, I wanted to print something from the SD card, the CaliCat. CaliCat, I don't know if I pronounced correctly, but it turned out pretty amazing. It was a very long print. I thought of it to do a Benchy, 
but I didn't have the G code at hand, so I thought just run the CaliCat to do my first print. When it started, it looked very nice, and I saw that there was no infill. And even that was not needed for this print. The print does look amazing. I had on the top of the S a little strings, or a bit stringy, but overall the the finish on the outside is amazing. I don't know what layer height it was, but I cannot find any layers here, not that closely, but I think the end result looks amazing. And then the part came, I printed some calibration cubes, I print some banshees, and I need to say I'm very amazed about the result. And of course you can always fine tune it, but also like this banshee, it's very, smooth no strings at all it's all nice and clean i thought let's print the nut and bolt let's see how that works and as you can see i still need to make some little adjustments but overall it is amazing i mean and then i also needed a phone holder and i thought well why not print it where we can? And then I thought, let's go for eight hour print. Well, that one was also a little bit longer. And I thought, let's print safety jaw. I need to say this was in, this, this part came in six pieces, if I am not correct. And I think the result looks amazing. I don't have to complain about it. And as mentioned, maybe some tweaks, but I think the result looks amazing. In general, this 3D printer has a building volume of 220 times 220 times 250 millimeters. And basically it can print anything just like you can do other kind of 3D printer within the same style. You can run prints until the nozzle temperature of 250 degrees and the bed goes until the 100, 110 degrees Celsius. It has yellow springs on the print bed and also a glass bed to print on. It has an auto bed leveling system, even though it is very simple, it's handy to use. Also, it is a Borden style 3D printer. The extruder is made out of metal. You have a filament runout sensor that works. Also for the printer in general, it has a power resume function. And most importantly, this 3D printer has thermal runaway protection turned on. During printing, I put out the thermistor from the nozzle and it's stopped. So that is very nicely. Also the power resume function, I also tested it and the filament from our sensor, it works very nicely. And also this 3D printer has a small but useful touchscreen to handle this 3D printer. What do I like about the ANET ET4? The building volume is the same as my Ender 3 Pro. Further, it has a glass bed installed already on there. You don't have this, this weird magnetic bed, you just have a glass bed to print on. Further, it has yellow springs pre-installed. Even though this is a very cheap thing, it does work. Further, you have a LCD color touchscreen in on your ENET ET4. Even though you don't have a belt tensioner here, you can still tension the belt over there. And also for the X gantry, you can also tension the belt using this side of the stepper motor. It's very easy. What I also like is that this uses a metal extruder head instead of a plastic one. And also the filament run out sensor and the power resume function I like very much about this 3D printer. And the shape of this 3D printer, it does look the same as some other brands have. But in general, I think this 3D printer looks amazing. And it prints also for the price, it prints very nicely. So a few things that I don't like or can be improved in future designs of this 3D printer. The end stop. The end stop for the Z-axis is at a very terrible place. I had one time, I did something, I pushed it and then 
that happened. Also, because of that placement, every time when you are going to home your 3D printer, your filament is all the way down and then the gantry is all going all the way up, causing that you get some free filament hanging here and curling up or doing some other things that I don't like. Also, the filament run out sensor and the metal extruder. Because I have some PTFA2 laying around, I used it to connect the metal extruder together with the filament run out sensor. If you are going to assemble this, make sure to put some, uh, some PTFA2 between it, making sure that I have one clear path from the filament run out sensor through to the extruder. Much more easier and way comfortable. And then one other thing, the wiring for the heat bed. There is no real closing connector or some covers to make sure that you have a very sturdy connecting between the heat bed and the cable. And also the cable is very loose. Maybe some suggestion, putting some nylon filament through the wire if possible, so that you have a clean cable that doesn't flip over because it can happen that the cable is coming behind the frame for the y-axis and it can cause some problems, maybe. Also some other thing that I do want to add, when you are going to install this 3D printer, make sure that your bed is not too loose and also the carriage. And for that use the eccentric nuts for the carriage and also for the carriage for the heat bed. And one other thing that I would like to address to ANET is the placement of the brackets where you put your timing belt in. Because those are pretty low, if you would ask me. I don't know if, if it is any problem, but when I'm moving the uh, carriage back and forth, I hear the sound. I don't know if it is normal, but I don't like it. But further, no problem. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony and Shannon. Thank you for your support. You can also join by supporting this channel. Check the link in the description of this video. So to wrap up this video, this 3D printer from ANET, the ET4, is a very nice machine for the budget. This 3D printer has some features that some printers don't have for the same kind of price. Some of the features I didn't have when I bought the Coreality Ender 3 from Coreality. It has yellow bed springs, it has glass bed, it has even an auto bed leveling system. It's very simple, but it does work. And you can also make some upgrades on the auto bed leveling system. But is it needed? No, well, for in this case, it does work. And I had to level my bed just one or maybe two times. And then some other nice things on this 3D printer. A filament run out sensor, power resume function. And for the price, I think it's a very nice 3D printer to start your 3D printing adventure with or expanding your fleet of 3D printers. If you're still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, does some recommended videos worth watching. You can also buy some merch from the merch store to support my channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Sakri 3D Prints. Bye-bye.